Hey guys, I'm back with my monthly favorites. Uh, I think I skipped my June favorites, so this will be my June and July favorites. Oh my gosh, it's, oh, it's thundering outside. Good, because we needed some rain here in Texas. It's so hot, like I came and step outside for a minute, I'm like drenched in sweat. So let's get started. The first product is a Korean skincare product. I know you guys love skincare stuff. So this is um, Claire's The Midnight Blue Calming Cream. This is a soothing cream that I've been using. And since it's so hot here in Texas, like my skin is in the worst state right now. Um, I have redness everywhere. I'm breaking out. It's actually blue. So pretty, it's like a light blue color. So this is meant for like a spot treatment, not the whole entire face. So I just apply a small amount on my affected areas, mainly my cheeks, it's like super red. So you can apply this morning and nighttime, but I like to apply it at night and just leave it on um, while I go to sleep. And this product really, really helped. Um, it helped with my sensitive areas and my redness areas. I actually really like this scent. Mm. And I just have to use a very small amount. A little goes a long way. Um, it feels very watery, like smooth, and it blends really, really nicely. So you just apply that. And it doesn't feel sticky or anything. Never seen this pretty shade of blue um, skincare product like anywhere. So I looked it up online and I read that one of the ingredients in here is what causes it to get blue. And then it's an ingredient found in a lot of high-end skincare products. So this has been working great for my sensitive skin. Picked up two other products from Claire's, but I haven't tried these out yet. So um, after I try it out, I'll let you guys know what I think of this. Um, this is a blemish cream, SPF 40, and then this is a drop. I forgot what, um, it has pure vitamin C. It's a skin repairing vitamin drop. So I'll let you guys know. This is the Laneige BB Cushion in 13 Ivory. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you guys know I'm madly in love with this BB Cushion. Uh, this is what I have on my face today. Uh, I used this on my recent makeup tutorial, the summer makeup. Yeah, it does come in two different types, the pore control and the whitening. And this is in whitening. It also comes in a lot of different shades, like I think 12 different shades. And there's also a shade for darker skin tones. This is the perfect summer baby cushion. I have combination skin. I'm like dry on my forehead area and oily on some areas and this has been working great um, for my entire face. Whenever I apply it on my forehead, I don't have any flakiness. Um, whenever I apply it in the morning, my face looks great even like 10 hours later because a lot of the other BB cushions, my face gets so oily or I have to touch up throughout the day but this, nope. I don't have to touch up. The coverage is medium to full. Also the finish is dewy. I'm not sure if you could tell from the camera. So I think I'm almost done using this. I've been using this a lot. I think I have to grab one more. Uh, this is from Lancome. This is the Glow Silky Cream Highlighter in Buff Lights 05. There are a few other shades, but I think this is the lightest shade. I think, I don't remember. Um, it is a Sephora exclusive, so I bought mine at Sephora. Super cute. And you just twist this open. It feels so soft. Um, so can you see that? So pretty. This is my number one favorite cream blusher now. Um, my favorite powder one is still the Laura Mercier Highlight 01. Looks like this, but yeah, this is a gorgeous color. Let me apply some on. In some lightings, when you uh, apply this on, you won't be able to see it, but just wait until the light hits you. Uh, so gorgeous. I like to apply this with my fingers. You can use a sponge or a brush. Um, it feels super silky and smooth, and it blends really, really nicely. So this is a perfect shade for me to highlight here, down my nose bridge, cupid's bone, and even the corner of my eyes. So this is from Tarte Cosmetics. This is Seduce. It's what I have on my cheeks today. I also bought one in a different color, Captivating, but uh, lately I've been really enjoying this color. These are my first Tarte blushes. I know these have been very popular over the past few years, but I didn't try it out until recently, um, mainly because I tried um, 
their Amazonian clay eyebrow pencil a few years ago, like in like three years ago, but I started breaking out and I got like red rashes on my eyebrows. So I thought maybe I'm allergic to Amazonian clay. So I didn't use it until recently because I bought this captivating blush for um, Jen and she's been sending me pictures of her with this blush on she was saying that it's such a gorgeous color and she loves it, it feels so smooth and blends nicely so I of course went out and got myself one too um, I like both of these colors but I feel like this is similar to some of the other coral colors that I have but this one is slightly different so I've been using this one more. The good thing, this is Amazonian clay too, but it didn't cause any irritations for me. So, yay! So when I was at Alta last month, um, the employee there was telling me how this is a gorgeous color. And I looked at it and I was like, mm. especially in the lighting there, it looked really brown to me. Different from the other blush shades that I own. But when I put it on my cheeks, it's a gorgeous color. It's a warm, nudie pink shade. Let me just apply a little bit more here since I kind of removed it earlier with the cushion. So this is super, super pigmented. So it's, all I have to do is like dab it on like this and pop it on. Uh, in some lightings, it even looks kind of peachy. So yeah, it blends and goes on really, really nicely. So this is a hair mask. My hairstylist Lisa, she gifted me with this baby. You guys know my hair went through a lot this past two months because I bleached my hair. I dyed it, uh, how many times? One or twice. And I also toned it because it was slightly too orange. My hair was super damaged. It was very, very tangled at the bottom. So I actually trimmed it about six inches. I know it's still long, but before my hair was super long, like almost down to my butt. So I cut off most of the dead ends, but still my entire hair is damaged. Before this, I was using a small L'Oreal um, hair mask, but hair didn't feel as soft as I wanted it to. So after switching over to this, oh, my hair feels so healthy again. It feels just like long time ago before I dyed my hair. It also smells so good. I use this about three times a week, leave it in my hair for about uh, three to five minutes and then rinse it off. This is a Korean brand. I'm not sure where they sell it. You might be able to find it at some Korean hair salons. So that was all of my current favorite, you guys. Like always, let me know down in the comment box some favorites that you've been enjoying lately. And um, this is what I have on my nails in case you guys are wondering. It's the Pure Ice uh, All Nighter. So talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.